OFWs bound for Hong Kong are calling on the government to waive fees for securing a yellow vaccination card. This as they also have to shoulder the costs of their 21-day quarantine upon arriving in Hong Kong. Gerard De La Peña with the details. Hundreds of overseas Filipino workers have been lining up at the satellite office of the Bureau of Quarantine in Quezon City. They all want to get their hands on one of these yellow cards, their key to employment abroad. Noong nag-register ako, marami nang naunang nakaregister. So talagang kung ano lang yung available slot. Of course, there were also those lucky enough to have secured a slot. Medyo matagal lang konti kasi nga ilan lang yung computer na nandun. The BOQ said it is trying its best to expand its capacity. Ang problem po namin is talagang human resources. So humingi po sana kami ng tulong talaga sa DOH and even DBM po na mabigyan kami ng allocation. This is just one of many woes that OFWs are facing, especially those bound for Hong Kong. Hong Kong recently banned Philippine Airlines flights for two weeks until September 11, after passengers from Manila were confirmed to have COVID-19. PAL will still get to fly to Hong Kong but will only carry cargoes. Those who manage to fly to Hong Kong will have to shell out 800 Hong Kong dollars or around 5,000 pesos a day for their 21-day quarantine. Because of this, they have called on the government to at least waive the 370 peso charge for the yellow cards. Because the stranded are all baon sa utang. No? Hmm. Simula nung uh, nag-apply sila at naghihintay na makapunta sa Hong Kong. So, talagang kahit 370 pesos yung cost ng yellow card, malaking halaga din sa kanila yun. Lawmakers are looking at the possibility of giving yellow cards to OFWs for free. For News 5, Gerard De La Peña, We are One News.